So in this first part, I'm going to show you how to create a project using Juice's built-in project manager called the Producer. The way that you get started, if you've downloaded Juice and you've installed it, then you should have an app called the Producer. So you go ahead and click on that to open it, and this will bring you to your project manager. So on the left-hand side here, we see that we have some different templates that we can create. There's also a great section where you can open examples of Juice projects. There's all different types of example code uh, that's fantastic. So I highly advise you to check that out. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a plugin project. So if you go down here to the section that's called plugin and go to basic, then I'm just going to click on that. And now I just need to give my project a name. So I will just call this test plugin. And I will just give you a very brief overview of some of the most important sections of this producer parts that you need to know for now. So this section down here called modules is a set of different libraries that Juice will be using to create your plugin project. So Juice is really a collection of libraries. Uh, so these are the libraries that we'll be using and you don't need to do anything there. And then down here you have what's called exporters. So exporters are the different types of IDEs that you use. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And that is essentially where you're going to write your code. For Mac, that would typically be Xcode or for Windows, you would have Visual Studio and then you have other different types of IDEs that you can use. And that is essentially all you need to know for now about creating your project. So down here in the bottom right, you have this create project button. I'll go ahead and click that. Now it asks to save it to a location. We'll save it to the desktop. And now we see that we have our project here on our desktop. So in this first tab, you have what's called the File Explorer, where you see your actual source files. And there are four source files here, uh, a plugin processor.cpp and .h, and a plugin editor.cpp and .h. Down here, once again, you have your modules, which is the collection of libraries from Juice that you're actually going to use, or that Juice is actually going to use to create this plugin project. Then down here at the bottom, you have your exporters. Um, and in this case, we're going to be using Xcode since we're on Mac. Another very important section here in the producer that is often overlooked is where you can actually decide or tell the plugin whether you want it to be an instrument or an audio effect or a MIDI effect, and also set the plugin name and some of the basic information for your plugin. The way that you do that is using this menu that's right above File Explorer. You see this little settings sprocket here, and we just click into this. And in here, you have a whole bunch of other options. Uh, so if you wanted to change the project name, uh, your company website, your company email, you would fill all of that in here. Then here you can also select your plugin formats. So in this case, we're doing VST3 and AU. You need some special permissions from Avid in order to build AAX. And then you have down here plugin characteristics. So currently what we're building is an audio effect because none of these are selected at the moment. But if we wanted to build a synthesizer or a sampler, then we would want to select plugin MIDI input. And if it was a synthesizer, plugin is a synth. Okay, so that's what we would do if we wanted to create those types of plugins, an instrument plugin. Uh, if you wanted to create a plugin that has MIDI output, you would select this, of course. And if you wanted to create a MIDI effect plugin, then you would select this last option here. Down here a little bit further, you have some important information like your plugin name. Uh, you can also write a description for the plugin and you can put yourself as the manufacturer in this section. And there are some other sections in here as well, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the center and we're just going to click this button that says save and open in IDE. And now we've opened up Xcode. And what I'm going to do, sometimes Xcode just opens up these random things over here on the left hand side. I like to just close all these down, just keep things nice and simple. And what I'll show you here is that here in uh, test, uh, test Plugin, this is your project. And then here's where your source files are. Uh, so the ones that we saw just now in the producer. Okay, and now what I'm going to do 
is try to build this, make sure that it's actually building properly. So one thing that I'll show you is here in the center section is what is called our targets. Okay, this is our target window. Um, as you can see, here it is. It says uh, that our current target is standalone plugin. Um, then it has a, a one that's called shared code. And then you have, I'll skip manifest helper. Uh, and then you have AU, VST3, and all. So typically for an audio plugin, you would be building typically an AU and a VST3, possibly an AAX plugin if you're doing that for Pro Tools, but that's a different story for another tutorial. Uh, what I like to do is first start out by trying to make sure that it builds using a stand standalone plugin mode, which means that uh, we don't need the to open a DAW or anything to just make sure that this works. So now I'm just going to go ahead and build this using Command R or by hitting this arrow key here in the top left. So it's something very similar for uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. If you're on Windows, it's not too different. And now we see that we have build succeeded. And we'll wait for a moment and we see our test plugin. So it's just a blank window that says, hello world.